Okay, there's this new Monmouth uh, University poll that shows that while public approval of President Biden's handling of the pandemic has slipped 12 points since March of 2020, state governors have taken the biggest hit. Only 50% of Americans believe their governors are doing a good job with the coronavirus, dipping on average 22 points since the virus's outbreak. Many governors are looking for an off-ramp to the pandemic and mask mandates. They just want it to be over. Uh, joining us now to discuss more on this, Julia Manchester from The Hill. Uh, this has to be an impassioned conversation uh, in most states uh, because everybody has an opinion about their governor. Uh, Julia, you have an article out right now about COVID-related mandates and how that's going to play into the governor's races next year. Why do you think so many people are frustrated over how their governors are leading right now? Well, I think right now so many people are frustrated because there's been so much mixed messaging from the government, government agencies, uh, public health officials as to how to deal with COVID. Now, that's not to fault them. I think part of this is that COVID is evolving, science is changing, and experts are learning more right now. However, I think right now, according to that poll, Adrian, that you just mentioned, we're seeing that Americans are simply frustrated with the state of the coronavirus. They're fatigued. They're ready to move on. And what's interesting is that New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy said earlier this week that he recognizes that New Jersey voters, as well as Americans across the country, are simply sick of the coronavirus and sick of a lot of these mandates that we've seen pop up in order to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Now, Phil Murphy is interesting because he recently just narrowly survived a very, very close reelection. And uh, during that same election cycle, we saw that Terry McAuliffe in Virginia lost lost his reelection bid and he was campaigning heavily on vaccine and mask mandates. So it's definitely a very contentious issue right now ahead of the midterms. And you're seeing a lot of Republican governors push back on this notion that we need mask and vaccine mandates. So does that mean the Democratic Party is getting hit harder with some of these frustrations than the Republican Party? I think you're seeing Republicans really start to go on the offensive against a lot of Democratic governors. And you're actually seeing a lot of Democratic governors start to change their messaging or maybe change their approach to dealing with these mandates in the pandemic. It was interesting, um, earlier this, much, uh, this month, uh, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer said that there could be potential problems with President Biden's vaccine mandate, which has now been halted in the courts, and that she understands how this could impact employment in the state in that she was waiting to see, you know, what, how the court ruled on this. In Kansas, Laura Kelly, the governor in that state, has recently signed legislation that would make it easier for Kansas residents and people in the state to seek moral or religious or health exemptions to the vaccine. That legislation drafted by Republicans in that state legislature. So these are two governors, Whitmer and Kelly, that are facing very uphill reelection bids. And I think there is something to be said about the timing of them sort of changing their messaging. It's not only political, but maybe they would argue that this has to do with the science and the fact that we are learning about COVID and how to deal with COVID each and every day. Yes, that's absolutely true. Julia, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.